party in full gear, so mash this gas. Gal, time for skull and so move like it's your last. The day no stopping now. Come with it, come with it. Some play it. playing. Show you my motion. Turn it up.
I turn my car into a bar, I do a curbside. Trying to get my hustle on, just to try to get by. Food store line dead long, we're going, going strong. Competent authority, but yet they're dead wrong. I send these KFC, fish fry, pork, ski, dog. I just want me some Kong salad, but we still all love. Lock down, baby, lock down, baby, this is all we heard. Still on the curfew, but boy, it's flicking road. We ain't touched the road in so long, we ain't quarantined six months strong. Chunk a new carnival, rip. One way things to shabby, get tanks, cause we gon' body. Calypso, I like them cold, cause all I know is, it's just the road. His name was Arthur, he was my papa, he loved to whistle, boy he was good, plowing the field, or catching fish, you could hear papa whistling like this, oh, whistle papa, whistle too.
New experience On the streets Collecting views and opinions Business artist platform For the small man With great ideas through resilience New Vision Media That's newvision242.com 242 to the world New Vision Media Also New Vision 242 Instagram 242 to the world New Vision Media And New Vision aid them at Facebook 242 to the world New Vision Media Check us out the views and opinions of the hosts and guests of this show is not necessarily the views and opinion of New Vision Media Management. If you have any discrepancies or concerns, you can reach us at 822-9563. That's 822-9563. So let's talk. let's talk. In this society where we're stereotyped, men are always hated, always wrong, and can never do right. That's what the world told us. And everybody agrees while we carry the weight of the world on our shoulders. Now, brothers, let me ask you this. Who's there for you? When it's time to air it out and talk, brother, who's hearing you? They already paint a picture that is us against everyone else. But I'm telling you, don't be against yourself. So let's talk. Let's talk. If I'm here for you and you're here for me, strength in unity. So let's talk. let's talk. If I am around, I'm going to build you up, never break you down. So let's talk. Let's talk. When they ask you, what can a brother do for me? So let's talk. Let's talk. You can help me be the best man I Good evening. Welcome to another edition of Let's Talk. Man Show. For men. By men. You gotta understand what men are now. So that's why I say for men. By men. I'm your host, C4. Tonight, Garden Studio. All right. (laughs) <laughs> brothers, 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 all right, uh, we're going to be covering a topic uh, this evening, simping, <laughs> the plague that needs to be removed, and it is a plague, you all don't understand, we'll get into that uh, tonight, so brothers, uh, introduce yourself for the viewing audience, please. Guys, my name is Solo to the Google, you should know my voice. Uh, more, 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 more famous than the singing prophet. Right? <laughs> uh, every time something comes up, this brother got a song. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. Once again, it's a, it's an honor to be here. Tell them where they can find you, man. Uh, Facebook solo ma- solo made uh, solo music also S O L O M U Z I K, and of course TikTok same way solo to the Google. Yes. Yeah, man. Uh, this is Vamp, uh, a.k.a. Lawrence Sweeting. I'm here just, you know, teaching people tech stuff. All men should know how to do technical things. So even if it's not construction, they should be able to do something on computers. Yeah, what about the... Hey, the they can do all the things through technical things. I got you. For I, money. I, 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 I got you. So, yeah. so, <laughs> so, Everything tech is so, money. Yeah, uh, got you. Yeah. Under... Understood. Yeah. Understood. Say no, say no more. <laughs> now, before we get into the topic tonight, um, I just want to um, shout out the uh, Montgomery, Alabama Warriors. You know. <laughs> That's right. yeah, yeah, yeah. The Montgomery, Alabama Warriors. Uh, you might still call them the freaking new superheroes, especially with Bruno, who swam across. That's niggas the new Goku. Okay? He's a super saiyan. He's a super saiyan. Aquaman. <laughs> <laughs> he is so for saying that nigga don't play, right? I I I read it what took place, and I don't want people to believe because uh, first off, when they talk about racism, we have to understand that a black person can never be racist because we don't have the power to be racist. Do not let them fool you into um, racism being something um, to do uh, uh, with hate or whatever. It's, those things are bigotry. Okay, yeah. please let's 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 uh, let's pick up some books. Stop being stupid. And study the thing. Yes, you know, study the thing, man. Let, let, let's become educated, okay? In order for you to be um, racist, all right, you have to be able to control a people, to keep a people down, which our people have been kept down to the bottom level of whatever's been taking place for over four or 500 years. So let's be clear, right? Um, so I'm not speaking on any kind of hate and whatnot because I actually have um, Caucasoid uh, friends, you know, mm-hmm. because um, I rate people based on them. I don't rate people based on the people. Just like uh, you have individuals who hate Haitians because they came across someone who are terrible. I have some Haitian friends as well. Oh, yeah. Okay. Grew up with and around. Yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm mixed and full. And full. 
Okay, in my group there used to be a, 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 a Haitian brethren. Okay, yeah. uh, for years. So there ain't no, you know, you know, situation. Just so that everyone is everyone in the same, and everyone ain't get the same. So, so you judge, you should judge people, people by people. So, they say no racist type situation. But I appreciated the fact that our people came together, bro. Yeah, that was a united. I place. don't think they knew that man. No, no, <laughs> they come from far too. Okay, uh. so, um, from my understanding of mm -hmm. the situation, he was a security who was trying to get uh, this family of white people who was in a boat who was blocking the riverboat from okay. parking. Doing his job and. Words were exchanged, and um, you know they jumped off. Now I will say the the, the beginning was very disappointing. Russia. <laughs> Get yourself in a self defense program e me d eight lee right. Yeah. But um, the fact is, winning no, and they still decided he get gang. He get that gang. they wanted to gang yeah, him. Yeah. Listen that's, to me. That's what the answer is. <laughs> Listen to me. That's what the answer is. That's a signal. Yeah. Oh, he showed the, the bot signal. That was the white flag. He threw up the bot signal, <laughs> my brother. No, white stuff flag mean he giving up. Yeah. He threw up the, box, the bot signal. Yeah, that signal. Okay. Yes. Uh, Unite. Uh, let's rest. Yes. Uh, I'm telling you. Okay. <laughs> All the rest of the Justice League. Let's go. Up here. So you had people running from on the land and then people... Uh, the, the, sea, you know, the, the reason why the dude was swimming was because the boat wasn't docked yet. Yeah. The boat wasn't docked yet. So he's like, hold on, I can't listen to this. <laughs> my, my brother, my brother, my brother swam yeah. to get involved. Not no slow swimming. No, I. We talking running on water. Oh, listen to me. <laughs> this brother needs to enter a competition. We talking uh, And he yeah. got there. Yeah, he got there. <laughs> to, to do his little one too, right? Um, and when you got it from different angles, when the boat docked, <laughs> I talking about Lord. Lord Lewis. <laughs> Listen to me, uh, males and females, and come running off this boat, bro. Females too. <laughs> males and females come. <laughs> no, because the family had females in it as well. Yeah, they so are. So everyone had to get their the dates. Everybody got to get their dates. You had it, man. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Hey, hey, hey! The memes that's going around about this situation yeah, right no now one. is hilarious. Yes. I ain't seen none yet, you know. You didn't see the one where they jumping about the water? They have like five guys coming out this pool. Are they jumping about the water? No. I see a reenactment. I just want to say it going so far till uh, you had caucus on what uh, friends uh, uh, and, and, and melanated friends they come together and they the reenactment. And they reenactment. Wow. I say reenactment, <laughs> right? They ain't playing, you know. All right. So, <laughs> this 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 is this is going worldwide, you know. And this is the kind of unity that we need to come together with as a people, right? So shout out to the Montgomery, Alabama <laughs> Warriors. All right. The barbecue team. <laughs> <laughs> so now we'll 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 get we'll get to the show simp. Now, people need to understand what a simp is because the average female, especially seems to be totally and completely lost as to what a simp is. A simp is not a man who treats his woman well. That's not a simp. No. That's a good man. He's being a good boyfriend. He's being a good husband. Big difference. That is a good man. That's a huge it's difference. Yeah. It's a huge Big. difference. Okay? This is what most of us men strive to be with women who deserve it. I use the word deserve because a simp Keyword. is somebody who does not um, he, 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 he does not act like a man, all right, or as a man should. No. He is somebody who does for more for a female who does not deserve it. Mm -hmm. She's an undeserving woman mm -hmm. with unrealistic expectations, and he tries his best to fulfill them, and uh, um, clearly seeing that she's not interested, but he's hoping and thinking that One if day. I do this, One if I continue to do this, at some point, she will appreciate me. I will come with the friends. That is a simp. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. You're okay? killing yourself. You're killing yourself. And you're making it terrible for relationships because here's where the problem comes in. It's Berlin. If you actually make an unrealistic woman feel like her delusions are real, then she'll believe it. 
And she will now feel like every man is supposed to give her the same Attention. treatment. Yeah. Yeah. All right? We have females who are the average female now, cares nothing about her body. Whether it's yeah. two, three hundred bodies in her, or whether it's um, uh, uh, just the fact that she's let herself go. Yeah. Okay. That's why they get to get surgeries. As long as the makeup is right, Dr. Miami. Yeah. Them kawaii lashes, okay, as long as they can be. The fake hair. The BBW. Okay. And they can go <laughs> to the cosmetic surgery. And, be- and here's the thing. We have men who pay for these things. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. $20,000, $30,000. That's because we get men who like that. Oh, but the thing about it is because at the end of the day, even if, okay, even if you're a man who have millions of dollars, you're a simp if you're encouraging a female right. into some foolishness. Mm-hmm. There are men out there who have a lot of money who pay in for undeserving women or their bills. And they feel like this is what's supposed to be happening for them. True. All right? When you're talking about a rating system, which um, whether we, because people want to talk about Kevin Samuels or whatever, but whether we want to admit it or not, there was always a rating system. Because you look at a female and say, boy, girl, gorgeous. And then you look at her and she all right. Oh, but I wouldn't touch that. There's always been a rating or a ranking system. Okay, with, 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 with females, it's not just looks, it's also money. Okay, that can put you in a high rank because you don't have to be Morris Chestnut. No. You got $10 million. Nigga, nigga, nigga. You are now top 10. Oh, yeah. Okay, you know, but when you buy into these unrealistic expectations from these women, you make things terrible for the entire relationship situation all right because they feel like this is what's supposed to be um given to them Mm -hmm. on air think about it with the average female how much is a man expected to invest before because you you trying to get this most of these times these dudes are trying to get us for sex yeah they ain't trying to marry they trying to get us for sex yeah. So you go and you try to get to know a female. How much money are you expected to invest? Lunches, dinners, going out to, if, if you're a clubber, going out party and drinking. Picking and up from work. Picking oh, up yeah, from work. Wait. Okay, dropping to work. All this different stuff, yeah. right? Mm-hmm. So your time and your money. And then oftentimes when they didn't do all of this, they still didn't get in there. Very true. And if they do get it, I mean, sometimes it might be an un- un- enjoyable experience, you know, little worldwide. Yeah. Okay? But how much money are you actually spending? And you ain't getting this 24-7 because nobody could do it 24-7. No. And you definitely can't afford to to give her things if you ain't working. So you're getting this little piece of something, and that time sometimes you're putting in thousands of dollars to get some Thousands, yeah, thousands. You might as well just call an escort service, <laughs> spend them two, three hundred to get a pie, and get a bunch of different pies every week if you could afford to do so and you saving yourself some money <laughs> well, 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 what's the thoughts on this gentlemen <laughs> but like let me tell you this there's a lot of there's a lot of men out there who have a lot of money because they lead with their resources and when they lead with their resources yeah you bound to pick up some stragglers here and there but the ones you pick up they're going to be the ones who try to dry your pocket out right quick right so first thing they want is the top tier restaurant you got to take them to the top tier restaurant. Other than that, you ain't interested. So right then, you know you're getting swing. You get you get swing off top. <laughs> you ain't you ain't even reach, um, you know, talking to talking about the relationship yet. Yeah. You ain't reach talking to her about who she really is yet. But you're already down in the hole, three hundred dollars. If you don't go and carry her to an expensive restaurant, then after you carry her to an expensive restaurant, she probably has. You know, one or two people in a household who may need a favor. And then she can say, hey, bills ain't paid, light ain't, light ain't on, I need the light on so I can get to call you. And you go, you pay the light bill. Light bill probably at least about one, two, three hundred dollars because it'll have to be over three hundred dollars to get it cut off. Yeah. Okay. Now you have to go put something on it to cut it cut back on. Now when you done cut on the light, then she think, now, okay, you know what? I'll break him off a little something. Cause By that time, it. yeah, because you spent it. Now, you ain't spending nothing, you can't even make it to that. But 
after you done spend the six hundred, seven hundred dollars to get there, she invites you over, whatever, whatever. You still got to bring her food. Yeah, still get people food. And that right there shows that she's a useless woman, because if you have a female who ain't cooking for you, she either useless, as in she cannot do it. Exactly. Or well, she's, she's useless and woman. lazy, as you said, that, that, uh, uh, um, because she's not interested in doing it, but she's right. already showing you. She's not interested in you. So there's even no reciprocation. There's mm-hmm. no appreciation for what it is that you've done. At all. Then you got, you got some of those same women. They have, what, maybe like some children. Oh, boy. And they got children for other men. Just like spend, multiple huh? men. So now you got to spend on one of been on because you know she can say you buy hey, food for her you can buy food for, for the kids right and then on top of that if you all gotta go out again you gotta buy you gotta pay for a babysitter for you all to go out so now you gotta line somebody else's pockets to make sure the kids watch so now you could go out and then when you go out again you ain't just finding the same place because you know what women get bored so when they get bored you gotta find a new expensive place to carry her to, oh. or you gotta find a couple places for y'all to go to, cause you got the next date gotta be topping the next yeah. one. So you got all types of different things you Challenges. gotta do. Right. Now, a lot of these women, they think now giving you cook food and doing this different things like that for you, that's husband treatment. They ain't trying to give you husband treatment. But they want wife treatment? Oh yeah. Right. Through putting up with, hey, every day I gotta go buy her food now. Got to buy the kids food. Because you didn't start. Because you didn't start. Every day. Every day. Yeah. Wow. The same, the same, the same once a week. <laughs> okay, every day. You can't right. stop it. Right? Because if you want to come back, you got you to gotta make sure she eat. She got to live. Mm-hmm. Then after she living. Uh, own bills to pay. So she ain't checking for your bills got to get paid. So you could actually come out to get her. And yeah. talk though, you gotta pay for gas and then gas at five, five dollars and seventy something cents a gallon. You don't let you live Coral Harbor and then she live uptown. You wow. Twenty dollars a day sometimes yeah. just to come see her. So now you got bills on top of bills and you keep piling it up. At some point, you're going to be into at least about five thousand dollars through the same month that you just meet this girl. Oh, when you <laughs> That's what they trying to do. They trying to they trying to bleed you dry. Sound but, like a movie. But it's on <laughs> it's on the all these different things and make sure that he doesn't overspend and exhaust his budget for something that really may not go anywhere. Yeah, yeah. See what I'm saying? So you won't put yourself in the hole just for trying to date. Which, and hey, all you had to do if you really wanted to find out who this girl was is just take her on a coffee, a little coffee date or something. Take her for a walk. The problem is, and this is why um, um, I, I interjected and stated that you, to take her someplace like uh, the club is just loud music, um, out to one of the most expensive uh, places in uh, whatever area it is that you're living in, because it's not just the Bahamas. It's the simp and taking place worldwide, right? Um, if that's what she's looking for with the first date, you're obviously being used. See, if you want to do an initial thing, we want to sit down and have a conversation. Coffee is perfect yep. to sit down and have a conversation. But as far as women are concerned, oh, let's go outside language. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> All right. Yeah, man, shame, insult, guilt. Yeah. All right. You know, um, these are the things that, that they come. I'm going to she say, oh, to oh, I, right. oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh, I heard um, he's broke. Oh, yeah, man, he broke, man. He want to take somebody to coffee. Hold on. Why is it that the date is supposed to be beneficial to you? Okay. If both of us are, are, are sitting down to have a conversation, right. it doesn't matter where we meet. We should be someplace comfortable where we can sit and chill for however long. And have a conversation and get to know each other. See, one of the most, one of the main problems, the underlying issue is this: a lot of people don't know what dating is. Break it down for what dating is supposed to be. Dating is supposed to be grind. You see, when you date someone, you basically trying to find out who they are because you don't know them. 
this is the whole basis of the day. How would I get to you spending so much money to know so little of that person for that particular time? Why do I need to pay and to then, get to know you? And then this is the other. Your dates, but you don't know this person yet. You see what I'm saying? So you be got fellas them who basically have a low self esteem. Simple someone who have a low self esteem yes. because they willing to do whatever it, it is just, just to be with just and around somebody. Them. Yeah, for a short period of time. Because it ain't like it ain't like they could hide who they really are forever. They can only hide themselves for, what, maybe four or five years, ten years. And then after that, you'll see who the real person is. Uh, uh, and, of course, a lot of times it doesn't even last. I mean, uh, um, their charade doesn't even last that long. No. Especially if they truly ain't interested in you. You have to be somebody who they really want to get something out of yeah. for them to be pretending that long. But if they get game, too, then they get you. Yeah, well... That, see, see that too, but this is the reason why we need to make sure that people understand what the signs are. Yeah, yeah. So that you understand what it is that you are truly supposed to be looking for as it relates to um, 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 a relationship. See, you need to be clear with yourself first. What do you want? If you just want to hit something off, I could be honest with you. The vast majority of modern women are prostitutes. Let's yeah. just be real. <laughs> okay? No, 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 let's just be real. Yeah, the vast majority yeah, of modern women are just prostitutes. Straight, straight so up. if you really just want sex, just be real with the girl and mm -hmm. say, listen, how much is it going to cost me? Right. Get the business one time. To get some of this. Because they want your money. Because that, that's all they after. They after you. Because what simps don't understand is that you're the topic of jokes. Yeah. They have conversations about you yeah, and right. laugh at your expense. Oh, you see how much money I get on this boy today? This stuff. Watch this. Watch this. Just some listen, me man. Let, uh, uh, hey, listen. Um, I, I need. I, I, I need something to, um, um, to eat, man. Okay? I hungry. And you, you know, it's me. You know, it's me and my girls, man. So you, you can need to bring one bucket of chicken. You know, I mean, some fries, this stuff, whatever, whatever. What you could do, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, no. uh, okay. <laughs> so, so you have just you've just been made fun of and don't understand or realize this. That's why we're talking about the um the low self esteem. Mm -hmm. When you see, okay, if someone truly about you, they won't take advantage of you. No. no. If they truly care about you, they won't take advantage of you. Here's all. the sad thing. Okay, we live in a country where minimum wage is $250 a week. Right? Right. The vast amount of Bahamians don't have $300 in savings in their bank account. I'm not saying that their salary don't pass through this account. <coughs> it passes through. Entirely. But it don't stay. No. Yeah. Okay? You because we... It. we we live in a society where we are still enslaved and people because people think that we free and we're not. Okay, the chains are off, but we still Slave. slaves. Yeah. Okay. And 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 the, and, the, and, the, and the biggest one is is, is finan we financially yes, enslaved. Okay. So that was to pay your bills. Mm -hmm. So when that salary passes through the account, by the time as you didn't pay off your, your bills and your debts, you you rarely have anything financially much left trapped. in there. Yeah. All right? So <clears throat> You're speaking about um, a country where females notice. They just listen to the news. They just yeah. watch social media. This information well, is they, out there. They are part of it. They okay, no, right. <laughs> so, so, so this isn't something that is strange to them. Mm -hmm. But as far as they're concerned, if you want to be with me, you need to do this, that, the next thing. Why do you think crime so high? Do y'all don't understand? Y'all don't understand that simping is one of the big reasons why we have high crime. Yeah, because yeah. fellas, can they go there and they get up? Something have to happen. Okay, so, 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 something have to happen. The one of the one of the biggest bills that a female has, and people don't understand this, is food. It's one of the biggest bills, and let me explain why. And I'm not talking about the fact that oh, you know, we have we have so many overweight individuals or whatever. But no, I'm not speaking on that. What I'm speaking on is that they're trying to keep up with the Joneses. So if a girl has a job. They buy from a particular restaurant. They ain't cooking in the morning because um, it doesn't look good to no. bring your food, but you cook home. No, they don't so do they gotta go and, um, to a restaurant and get something to eat or send out for something and then to show eat. Show that when they go to work. Yes, when it's time for lunch, right? When it's time for lunch, That's that. they want to go to a restaurant. Are we only ordering from this particular place? You know, many people dressing up in in corporate gear. 
and it's make two hundred seven dollars a week, mm-hmm. three hundred dollars a week, mm-hmm. but I can like days make up thousand dollars a week. Come on, right? Every day on okay. lunch and breakfast. Right. And now every day. okay, and now after that, they wanna go out. Then that, that um some some females um go out almost every evening after work. And if not every weekend. Especially them, happy hour. Them and their them and their um um their workmates. Mm-hmm. All right? Mm-hmm. Eating, buying drinks, whatever. We ain't locking, we ain't hurting, this, that, the next thing. By the time it's there finished, the vast majority of their money is gone. Then we got to talk about the wigs and the cow eyelashes. And the nails. And the makeup and the nails. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Wigs. Wigs. Wigs off the top is money. $300 sometimes. And, and, the fit, and, 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 you, and you have some females who don't want to be in the same staff for more than a week. Put it in, no. They ain't put it in yet, no. Oh. They had one customer when they look inside a car. She had one wig was seventy five, one was one seventy five, another one was a hundred. She, she done had almost over three hundred dollars just in just, w- j- just in hair. Now that ain't get put in yet. Okay, yeah, that ain't in yet. This, that ain't the stuff. Uh, this just in here because there are some <laughs> females who pieces now. This call it what? Uh, I forget how much pieces. Twenty one pieces or something like that. Uh, uh, like that. Uh, it's it's uh, new stars that come so around. They got pieces now. They got and that's before. That's before Remy really get popular. And Remy them is like with three hundred dollars and things oh, like that. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, and I only know these things because of social media, bro. Because I don't even acknowledge <laughs> that foolishness, right? Okay, then. Um, no. But, but, but this is the kind of life that we are, uh, you know, that we are a part of here. And so their delusions mm-hmm. are: if you're with me, you responsible. You gotta pay yeah. for. Whatever it is that I... That's my lifestyle. You come here with me. Oh, right. Okay. And then don't let it be, because uh, mm-hmm. we don't want to brush past the very, very, very important point that he, he brought up about the children. Mm-hmm. All right? They in the picture. That's mm-hmm. another form of simping yeah. that guys don't understand. This is what I advise any man listening to the sound of my voice. Never get involved with a single mother. There are very few, because there are some who are very good, yeah. but the amount is so small, very th- it's minimal. not worth the risk. Don't get involved with a single mother. You're talking about a female who a guy didn't feel was worthy enough to put a ring on. Mm-hmm. Now, she may be a, 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 a ex-wife, mm-hmm. so we could, have, we could have a conversation with that because, you know, yeah, it's a possibility that you was good, and this dude just happened to be, you know, piece of shit. Because you know there are there are people who who really ain't. Yeah, they, they have stories like that. No, yeah. no, but the, the thing about it is, not every man is good. Just like not every woman is good. Right. Okay. So I'll never try to make it seem like every man is a good man because that's not true. We have wife beaters. We have pedophiles. We have people out there. We have uh, we have we we have yeah, mentally uh, um, um, disabled d- disabled people yeah. who operating as if they are normal when they're not. Yeah. Okay. And this is one of the main reasons why that coffee date is so important. Mm-hmm. You need to have coffee dates, sit down, really talk, get Multiple. to know each other. Multiple. And have conversa- like real conversations, conversations. Yeah. instead of just worrying about the physical. Um, am I prepared to sleep with this person? Mm-hmm. Can this person pay my bills? I know what they have. Right. Let's get to, to principles and morals so that we can truly understand what this relationship is supposed to be about. We don't have communication. We don't have the attempt of comprehension. Okay, we just have physical attraction, yeah, which is very, very unintelligent. And All right, the foundation of the, of the sim. Very, very, very unintelligent, right? You won't get it. So, when we have these kinds of, of 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 situations going on, we find ourselves in in a bad place. So now, uh, uh, with the single mothers, they push those children out. Those children are always going to come first, and I'm not saying they shouldn't. Yeah, I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, why be in a relationship that you are always going to come second or third, yeah. depending on how many children there are, you might come tenth. Right. Okay? You have to pay all these bills because, and I'm not speaking about the females who take care of their own because there are a few yeah. women who fathers take care of their children. And they don't right. put that responsibility And they on don't you. put the responsibility yeah. of their child on you at all. Yeah. You have to be someone who, all that is yeah. microscopic. It's yeah. very low. Okay? The vast majority of the females which you're seeing on social media... It's a package deal. Oh, yeah. So if you want me, you have to deal with them, which means they want you to pay their school fee. Pay the... <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds reasonable. I should work hard all the days of my life right. to make sure that these people are straight 
Mm-hmm. And I ain't getting straight doing it, I ain't getting this stuff. She can't even jump up and do that. No. She's not a single woman. Okay? Um, enough time, some of them live in home with their parents. Children and the mummy. Yeah. Okay. You take care of the whole house. You take care of the whole house. All right. Mm-hmm. And you're not a good man. You're not a real man because that's where these, this foolishness came yeah, about. Yeah. Mm-hmm. A real man is somebody who does whatever a woman wants. That's a real man. To them. Yeah. To them. Yeah. To them. You understand me? It ain't, oh, it ain't necessarily. Okay. Right. But <laughs> but if men make the attempt mm-hmm. to try, I have a question for you about the C4. I, I hear you say men shouldn't date women. Uh, who have children? Mm-hmm. Uh, that that should be the reverse way. Women shouldn't date men who who have children either. Well, I don't think with, with females, because females always try to make it seem as if they are the same as men when they are not. Mm. Our situations are not the same. Now, a man could have ten children with ten different women, which mm-hmm. a lot of men do, because we have seventy something, eighty something children, mm-hmm. but they don't live with those children. Take care of them. Whether they take care of them or not, but they should be taking care of them. Because yeah. if you're not trying to assist financially, you are a deadbeat uh, uh, um, dad. If you lay with that woman, decide to go with her without and a condom or yeah. or whatever, then you, um, um, you have a responsibility to go and deal with that. But that man <laughs> want to because right. the headache of that is for um, 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 the woman. But with a female, She's coming with the responsibility of, and a lot of these women, as I said, are dealing with men who are not taking care of their children. Mm. So the fact that they're not, that means that's an added responsibility. Is that man asking that woman to take care of his children? That, does he say that we are, now it's a difference if, if, if his children. I and he's taking because care I, of I go on to make that very same point because when, when my daughters, my two oldest daughters, they were younger, they used to live with me. You see what I'm saying? And mm. and I had a rule. I, I, I still follow this rule to the day. I don't really date women who don't have children. If, okay, because that, 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 that would have been a future point. Right. If you're a man who has children, especially if you've reached a point in your life where you're not interested in any more children, right. then finding a woman, mm-hmm. you're looking Young, for more children, you're looking to set up a with, family. A single man with no children. Yeah. 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 Single even, man with no, even, no children. Even, 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 <laughs> even, even if you're a single. If you're single with children. Even yeah. if you're, even if you're, a, but even if you as I said, if you don't want no, no more, mm-hmm. even if you're a single man with a child or children, that's a dual responsibility on you. You're taking away monies from your children to go yep. and deal with this particular woman who have children because she's looking for you to take care of hers as well. Yeah, she's yeah, not yeah. taking care of yours. See, if she's reciprocating. But wouldn't that be a part of the, the, the conversation when you... It should you see, be I, a part of the conversation. See, some things I only, I, I only could talk from my point of view right. on the things that I, I look for. If... If I if I if I go to let's say talk to this lady with kids, if she yeah. ain't receptive with my kids, I ain't bringing her around. But the thing about it is this: all of that is a part of the getting to know you, a part of the dating, as right. he said. Because, as I said, every woman isn't good, every woman isn't bad, and every woman isn't good for you, and every man isn't but good for you. Now. So it's everything, ha- ah, so you're investigating. So when you're doing this, you're actually looking to see. Who fits you? Right. Just because you see someone who you like or they see you and they like you does not mean that y'all are a match made in heaven. The problem comes in where in, in, in the day with relationships, there's no concern about real compatibility and, and, and long-term in reference to relationships. That's the reason why we ain't having 30, 40, 50, 60 year marriages mm. because the people didn't get into it to love that person and build and grow. They got into it for what they could get out of it, and when they figured they didn't get enough or, or you ain't got no more to give, they're walking away. Wow. We have simps out there who are putting women through school. Yeah. And when she didn't get straight, she leaving. She leaving you. Yep. Because there was no conversation, or even if there was a conversation, the lie was told because she already had a plan. Right. I look down on you because you don't work in the area or industry that I work in. So once I've already gotten my education and now I'm in an area where people with real money could be seeing me, I'm going to go after the bigger fish. Mm. So there was never a plan in her mind. Mm -hmm. See, and if you are not paying attention, then it's easy to become a simp because there are too many females out here who just telling straight up lies. 
Yeah. Okay. She have an agenda and you're in the bottom. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, 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 yeah, I see it. Hey, my, 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 you people, won't see it. My, yeah. my, my, my people have said to me that women speak in a language that men don't understand and we don't get it. This is the reason why um, there are certain females who, who are around, they could hear a conversation and they hot. And you're trying to figure like, what the hell happened? Mm -hmm. You didn't hear what she say? See, you didn't understand what's going on. No. Okay. So that's... Unconscious. Okay. All right. Let's, let, let, let's be real. The vast majority of women who you get as a man, please understand that you ain't pick up no woman, eh? I need y'all to learn something. I try to put y'all up on some game. You didn't pick her up. She picked you up. I that's what y'all don't understand. Mm -hmm. When you're in an environment, unless she is somebody who... Because usually if a girl isn't interested and you catch her eye, she turned her, her face away. She wrenched up her face, whatever, because she ain't interested. Right. You see her giving you those vibes. She saw you. Yeah, a little while. She put herself in a position so you where you her. could see her. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so you didn't pick her up, my brother. She picked you uh, up. All right. <laughs> so the, the trap was already laid. She already have her... By the time and she didn't say, oh yeah, you can be wearing this, you know, yeah, blah, blah, blah. all right, don't 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 let her miss and saw so you come with your car. Oh, that's nice, blah, blah, blah. She didn't make a plans. You don't realize that the trap was already set, you my start brother. Walking yeah. your way. You you spring the trap when you start paying for a drink. Okay. So now her thing is, all right, now I just gotta I didn't put the bait out there. Yeah. Now let me see um what I could get out of this. And this is the reason why sometimes these things just end quickly. Yeah. Because if she sees that you ain't one of them who would just give it up and free it up quick like that, yeah, then, then she gone. okay, but if you start spending, she'd like, oh, yeah, mm, I could put this one on them. Good. And that's why some of them just end up getting caught. Because we talk about the smarter um, um, gender and whatever. Right. You're also smart while you're always getting catch. Right. But anyway, so you, 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 this is, and, 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 and this right here is, um, you know, this is, this, is, this is another topic that I have a huge problem with. Because you want to call a man a deadbeat, but you didn't have a conversation with him about uh, about having a child, child prior to. Right. We had sex one time, two, three times. We didn't even get to really know each other. Now a baby come in. I never say I wanted to be with you. I want to sleep with you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then the man is saying, "I do need to get an abortion because I don't want to uh, um to deal with you now." I'm not saying whether it's right or wrong because everybody has their own mindset and opinion on that. Right. There's no right and wrong in that. That's your personal conviction. But if you had had the conversation with the man from the beginning right. and say, oh, well, listen yeah. now. Yeah, I see you grabbing no condom. Understand. Right. If this take place. And I get pregnant. Then you better right. believe you're right. a child. Yes. Right. And then the dude could be like, you know what? I think I need to go get me some condoms. Or not come back. <laughs> oh, you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, right. Or are you like, but I'm interested, no children, is, then we can't be having no sex. Right. Okay? The, I know females who operate like that. Mm -hmm. Okay? A lot of times, of course, it's after they already get Okay? Yeah. Make up your mind. But um, now in America, having children is a business. Mm -hmm. That's a part of getting the bike. This mm -hmm. is why the reason why we got a lot of females who run around six, seven, eight children. Most definitely. Because yeah. social service, working yeah. it out for them, or they, they go from each to the courts. Yeah. Because in, in America, mm -hmm. I can't speak to here, but in America, um, you can become the daddy by default. Yeah, mm -hmm. you can. All they have to do is put you in child support court, and you don't show up. Yeah. If you don't show up, you do, you're the daddy by default. Right. And now the next 18 years, minimum, Bam. you're paying child support. Straight to right. Okay? Don't let you be someone who have a good job, and you're in a certain tax bracket. Oh. That means you're paying a certain amount of money. Yeah. This is getting the bag for some women. We have to understand that there are people out there, there are females out there who don't care about you. They a lot of them, business. don't. they don't care about you. Yeah, money, money. Okay? But you allowing yourself to be used by them. Well, I think it's just men on the whole, as, as, as the leaders who's, who we supposed to be, need to make better decisions. Yeah. When you see I a agree. woman out here just, you know, she for the streets, everybody freaking and know who she is, 90% of the dudes done slept with her, you should not even be around her. You shouldn't even indulge her in conversation. Even if 90% of the dudes don't know her, because there are people who you buck up on and they're not like that. But social media tells a very good story. The hoes are for everyone. If you, <laughs> the hoes are for everyone, but that's why you need to strap up with the hoes, because if you don't strap up with the hoes, you end up you end up being one of the baby daddies of the hoes. Well, if Jesus Jesus okay, saves, right? <laughs> right? But, 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 the, but, the, but the thing about it is this. So, as I said, social media paints a, a very good picture a lot of times of women. 
if you see a female posting her photos mm. on social media every day, red flag. She ain't got no business. She ain't trying to sell nothing. Fly on the plane. What she you think? She, she selling herself. Yep. Selling herself. Okay. If you see her, if you see her, if you see her posting these uh, provocatively pictures. positioned pictures, mm -hmm. whether she's fully clothed or not, she, right. advertising. she advertising herself. Yes, sir. Which means that if you reach out to her, you just one of the people who who reaching out to her. If you mm -hmm. saw her and she looked good enough for you to stay up to, what you think about the other guys? Yep, mm -hmm. it's probably about a hundred other guys because in the inbox. This is the, this mm -hmm. is the reason why a lot of women have such unrealistic expectations. Back in the day before social media, they only had a circle they could yeah. operate from. With mm -hmm. the area they live in, if and when they get a job, right. you go to school, church. They walk around, someone cat call some at them. Some only have a life yeah. on social media. That's why if you see internet black or right now, we're looking at a high suicide rate. Uh, we had a high suicide rate with COVID. We had a high suicide rate, um, not high, high divorce rate with, with COVID. COVID. All these things, mm -hmm. same reason. It can be high because a lot of people, well, look at the, the the younger women now. Even the older women are trying to compete with them because they don't get left behind. Right. Yeah. But plenty of them, everywhere they go, they take pictures. Yeah. Everywhere they go, they cut video. And they, they, they supposed to be on a date. Mm -hmm. They supposed to be out. Enjoying the place, they like this. Yeah. If Even you, when I used the club, right? Huh? When I used the club, there never used to be no phones in the club. No, no not at all. Phone. Yeah. No. Daughters used to really dance in the club. When me and my brethren, when we go, whether that be cocktails or so. Oh, sweaty. I'm yeah. telling you, <laughs> we really live in a place sweaty. I see one or two videos <laughs> over the years. They in the club on their phone. Yeah. Yeah. And 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 like and, 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 and here's the and here's the and here's the crazy and here's the crazy thing. A lot of time, no one checking for them. Um, they uh, sometimes they there with one or two girls or whatever, and they can't on bad when they do the um, the video. Yeah. And then as soon as the video over, they write back to nothing. Right. Yeah. And most of them mm. don't sit in the club anymore because they do the parking <laughs> by the bar. Because when they know they park by the bar, they just say to me, hey, Joneses, drinks. <laughs> please, please, yeah, please explain to us what a Jones is, what a club Jones is, my brother. Hey, Joneses <laughs> for drinks, which means that they came there. The bus. They come there to tax you because you're already in there. Yeah. Now, nah, you know about this too. The club, them, the club is set it up where the fellas, them, but they tell you, Free. Yes, yeah, yeah, yes. Yeah, Guys got to pay to get inside. One, when I used to club, cocktails was $20. Yeah. And the girls was free. Yeah. We basically was paying for that. Yeah, yes. Right. Yeah. Could, because that's basically what it is. It's $10 a person, but you pay for each woman. Exactly. You pay for them. And you ain't sure if you can't know you them, ain't by sure. Sure. You ain't sure door. So <laughs> me and my brother used to jump stick on them. And since we know how to tear that band, Nice and slow. And they're using the same band. Five of us getting in there with our one band. <laughs> yeah. That's how we can on. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? But back to the topic. The woman them they get inside for free. You basically pay for them and then when they get in there, they sulky up or whatever. But these daughters they go into the club, they go and dress up and they're gonna see what they can pull. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You see? You no more dancing no more, you no more this and more that. Everything is Advertisement, like you say. The thing yeah. about it is, a brinks used to be something that men used to be ashamed to be back in the day. Yeah. Now people be in brinks, and which, is, even which, 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 which is the new no simp, name. Uh, uh, yeah, you know, because it's the new yeah. name for the man there, yeah. right? It used to be brinks, the new name now is simp, yeah. right? No um, but 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 these brothers are actually <laughs> bragging about being simps. You had a um, um, a fool who was talking to a female, the only fans or some something like that. Um, took on this trip. Um, oh, that fella. Yeah, went Spend went to go. Ten grand. Yep, yeah, yeah, uh huh. And 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 give her ten Gs yeah. for her time. For being there. And wow. then and then the next week or two, she on a thing. I'm showing photos of her and her boyfriend. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, that's a sim. Yeah, that's, that's a real sim. But 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 <laughs> <Supreme> <laughs> <sim>. <laughs> right. But but the thing. <laughs> yes, oh, you man. understand. <laughs> but but the thing about it is, people don't see it as that. Yeah. They don't see simping as, all right, like as you said, they leave with the money. Mm -hmm. From you have to leave with your money, you're already a simp. Yeah, yeah. Don't know. wonder what you are. You are a simp. Because, and, and that's another thing that I'll tell guys, be careful when you're dealing with these females and they down. Yeah. Get set up too. 
that that right there is the perfect storm for simping. Yeah, man. So she's down. Shoot. As soon as you um, get to deal with her, I don't care if she's in the hospital. I don't care if she out of work. I don't care if whatever. Mm-hmm. Now you go and you get and you deal with her. She needs stuff. The first thing you're doing is buying things for her. There's dudes who go to the bank and get loans yes, to yeah. make sure a woman them straight. See, people don't understand why a lot of men going crazy. You know? Go away and yeah. everything. Simping is a plague. It's a disease. disease yeah. Y'all are actually putting yourself in a position for a nervous breakdown. Mm-hmm. That's what you're doing. Yeah. Because if you've spent your earnings, the vast majority of relationships are like this. And this is where there's a regular relationship or a marriage. The vast majority are the man spending money on the woman, she ends up in a better position than the man, and she leaves. Yeah. That's the vast majority of relationships. When guys are in relationships with women, it's very rare that she's actually building him up. For those people who, you know, say they follow the Bible, yeah. this is what you're, uh, most people is brought up under. The book said that man was here first, and God created a helpmate for him. Okay. Right. Uh, again now, he didn't get Steve. He decided to bring you. Right. Right? Get that clear. Right? Let's just get let, 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 uh, Let's just get this clear. Exactly. Okay? You know? Um, he decided to bring Eve. All right? But her job was supposed to assist him. Assist. In, yeah. in, in, in being better. Now, he was the fool who followed her because she made a dumb decision that, according to them, yeah. messed everything up. And right. now he had to go with his tail between his legs. Yeah. Follow me, huh? He's the first simp. He's first first simp. Yeah, first simp. Okay, first simp. <laughs> okay. Um, and now you're still running around saying they're the smart. Well, how are you so smart if, if, if the people tell you don't do something and you still do that and you mess it up for everybody? All right. Then. Okay? You mm-hmm. screw our whole situation up, mm-hmm. right? Um, but the end of the day, right? Cause, cause, because I'm not trying to get down on women um, specifically. It's the bad ones. Yeah. Who messing it up for the good ones? And it's the simps who mess it up for the good men. Right. Because when you are a masculine man and you say, hold on, I have standards that I intend to um, stick and deal with, mm-hmm. you're being chewed out by these bad women and you're being chewed out by the simping men right. to saying, what's your problem? But if they allow tough standards, why can't I? Yeah. You want a man who's making a certain amount of money, driving a certain amount of thing, I'm living, living in a certain location, why can't I say I need you to be this particular age, this particular body type, um, have this particular kind of mindset. And I, I can't do that. This is why Since all men, standard. yeah, all men should have some kind of, of of sense or common sense when it comes to financial literacy. If you don't have financial literacy, you won't meet your obligations first. You go ahead and meet her obligations yeah. and then try to meet yours with whatever's left. That's stupid. You I, can't take care of somebody if you can't take care of yourself. And people, people uh, have a problem with the word stupid, but my thing is we need to get back to accountability, man, because if you're stupid, you're stupid. Yeah. You know, try not to be stupid anymore. Right. Right. But, 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 but what are you speaking to is actually very, very factual. That's like, build. okay, you buy blocks to build your house. Your neighbor could use some blocks. Yeah. You passing over your blocks. As you keep on assisting your neighbor, your neighbor house finished. And you're still being built. Because this is how this is how this is how a lot of women operate. Sad. And I want you to be I want you to be uh, to, to understand and be clear. Uh, Most females made it off the back of a man. I don't sure. care if it's their daddy, boyfriend, or boyfriends. Because a lot of women dealing with three, four, or five different dudes. Or even just society. This is the reason why we have such a high um, 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 uh, DNA problem. Okay, because now they have something that could prove you lying. Before they didn't, yeah. plenty of women then raise children who in the who, who in the uh, 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 um, the child of the daddy. Oh, yeah. He just believed it was so. Maybe mm. she had a type and they look a little similar, or he just mm. say, you know what? Well, she look more like he look the child look more like okay, fine. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Because I love this woman. He ain't questioning, it. right? Okay, but there are many who have had these kinds of situations, right? Mm. Um, but these women are are being taken care of by these guys. There are women right now who have the food man. The maintenance man, mm-hmm. the car note man, the mortgage man, all these is different men. You understand what I'm saying? They see one man because it's a lot of people. Because when you're talking about um, um, salaries, there aren't a huge amount of men who are making big, big the money. kind of money yeah. right. that these people need. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? So they have a bunch of different men for a bunch of different, different reasons. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Now, when they get straight, 
Because here's how the average um, hoe operates. She will be a hoe for as long as she feels she needs to be a hoe. Then she suddenly becomes a born-again virgin. Right. Maybe even going to the point of going to get an operation to have the high... Like, what the hell? I don't see the sense of that. But anyway, um, so uh, they, go, they, they, they go and they deal with these things, right? Mm-hmm. And then they, they act as if they never lived that life. Yeah. So if you don't know them as a man, you meet them with their stuff together, you don't understand what they had to go through before they get their good job, before right. they have their own business, before they got their own place. And when they speak, they will never mention those people. No, they ain't going to say nothing about that. Well, they, they, they won't, but see you as a man, if you are walking with a woman and she has 10 different dudes hailing her on the way down the road, yeah. You should have a red flag in your head right there. You should, but suppose you ain't walking in an area where those 10 dudes are. Well, that's true. But then guess what? Nassau or the Bahamas is a very small, small place. place. At mm. some point, you're going to run into at least about 20 dudes the, who says, hey, I know that woman. The, the, and, and this is where investigation comes in. Right, but, but, but see, but here, 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 uh, that's what's important. Mm-hmm. But Because here's the problem. A lot of times you will now buck up on this woman and she suddenly becomes someone who don't like to go out. Yeah, true. She won't go nowhere. You're all home most of the time. Mm-hmm. There's very rare that you'll actually go to events. Mm-hmm. And if you're going to events, um, enough times she's just acting like she don't know people. Do it thing because uh, if, if, uh, some guys, mm-hmm. right, know how to play their role. They know how to play their position. Yeah. Okay? Men are often better side pieces than women because a side piece woman want that man for herself. So she actually taking photos when he there sleeping, laying on the side of him naked, whatever, so she could go get the woman number or a Facebook account and send, and send that information. Right. A lot of the guys ain't doing none of that. No. Okay, not if you are a man. Real man. Okay. Yeah. Uh gay dudes, uh, uh uh a lot of men who raised only by their mothers and being enabled and whatever, mm-hmm. they act like that. Okay, and they think yeah, it's yeah. cool. Okay, but that means you're a punk. I said it. Yeah. You're a punk, right? <laughs> um, they will do those type of stuff, uh, right? Mm. But real men play their role. Right. So you could be out with the girl uh, and where she is, and you don't even act as if you saw her. So you understand what I'm saying? So some females are able to live that life. Don't let them end up having a nice position because we live in a, a, we live in a, in a world, especially in the West, where status is what's important. Yeah. So if this person, this is the reason why a um, uh, 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 whole like uh, uh, Alan Nicole right. could have um, come up as a stripper, marry a rich man, and then all of a sudden she important. Yeah. Um, Kim Kardashian, who I think they're saying is worth a billion now, yeah. um, would have been the town whore, okay? the industry whore, the industry mm-hmm. whore, right? Um, get married to a man who was, who, who, who was worth a billion and getting straight with these stuff. Because we allow these things, and we glorify these things. A bunch of other whores saying, but if that whore could do it, they I could do it too. the same thing because that's inspiration to them. Well, guess what? There's a, new, there's a new situation going on. I don't know if you all heard this one yet, but there was a, there's a gentleman called Adam22. He let um, a male uh, adult actor sleep with his wife two months after they got married. Okay. And now... Like, he's having some beef with the guy because the guy said that he sleep with his wife better. <laughs> the thing is, if you... See, see, I can't even they feel... Can no okay, sense. I can't feel sorry for stupid people, my brother. I can't feel sorry for stupid uh. people because, because at the end of the day, if you've done that, then that's your, that's your fault. Yeah. All right? He was a simp. You have guys who... Bad simp do. Uh, you have guys who because... Because, be, cup. Be, <laughs> because cuck holders, that's cuck holding. <laughs> That's what it is, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. When you have you you have cuckolders who, um, because they are um, dealing with the club situation for the for the money years that I have, you've had couples who would come inside the spot and they're looking around for a guy to yeah. do their do their wife. While they watch, yeah, while they watch, Cuckold, yeah, man, this been going on for years. Yeah. It's yeah. just that it's now it's, it's famous because it's so much so many uh, um, on porno sites now that you actually get to see Prevalent these type man. of stuff. The men are the ones record doing the recording, bro. Watching their wife get off or whatever, but not understanding that uh, sometimes once you go black, you don't ever want to go back. So they end up putting themselves in a position where, okay, uh, you, you're trying to get a guy who's bigger than you, right? That's the goal. Right. Yeah. So now she, she experiences that now. Now she and them. That's the ultimate. Now that's yeah. the consequences. That's the getting high. And you always chasing yeah. that. You always chasing that high. And the yeah. crazy part about it is, 
he told her afterwards he was proud of her and he buy her a Lambo truck. Okay, I was so like yo, okay, okay so crazy, uh, man. okay, crazy. okay, so so crazy. see crazy. next, so <laughs> next level, no, but next level simping. Yeah, but yeah. the thing about it is, we brand. have we have a lot of single mothers raising these um, mentally disturbed men, mm-hmm. grooming them into the simping industry, and by doing that, they're saying, I want you to treat a woman like how I feel like your daddy or or all the other men oh, I was sleeping with I'll, was supposed I'll to see her get treated. And he believed in the same okay. thing. Okay, so so the thing is now, once you've done once you've done this, mm-hmm. you've put her unrealistic expectations up there. Right. You have guys who in the entertainment industry, whether it's sports, whether it's television, whatever, mm-hmm. and they will go to these events. They see you in a um, an attractive hoe out there. They go and they grab her. Mm-hmm. They go take her for a weekend. Mm-hmm. Um, a lot of the times they get in comp for these things because they big names. Yeah. Or, or somebody is footing the bill, not even them. They go and they let her have a lavish life um, and buy some outfits and whatnot so she could look the part. Right. You understand me? Um, maybe even leave her with some paper because all he got is money. Now he kicking her to the curb, you know, because she only was a weekend fling. <laughs> yeah. You understand what I'm saying? But now she feels like it's her life. Yeah. And have you ever met somebody who, who, who went to maybe a, a private school or had like a really good job? And yeah. when they left that, as far as they're concerned, just only realm that they supposed to be operating in. They wouldn't work for nobody if, if they can't get paid this amount of money. And so they end up becoming a bum after years because they still expecting the yeah, same yeah, lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. Um they feel like because they went to a uh, um um a uh, private school that that is going to be their resume for the rest of their life. And other people don't get associates, bosses, masters, PhD. They yeah. still holding on to, oh, I've been to a private school. So <laughs> they get left behind. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Or yeah. you went and you dated a pretty girl. Mm-hmm. Now you want every girl to be it's looking pretty. like this particular one, man. You might you might look out with that particular situation there, but yeah. you feel it's just your standard now. So you now you ain't getting no more women uh, or, or you're yeah. getting used because they're like, Psh, this thing ain't, ain't, ain't even worth. Yeah. What is he talking about? Right. Vice versa with the females. They go and they get straight with a guy. They're lucking up. All right? Yeah. Not not somebody who, who, who off the chain because I, I watch the social media thing and I'm like, <laughs> I could expect this mindset concept from some models. Right. Even though they shouldn't be thinking that way either. But They shouldn't think like that at you, all. You, 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 you as Kevin Samuel you said, average is best. But you feel... <laughs> Like you deserve, and then you come with children. Uh, this, this right, this is just a crazy situation, my brothers, and it needs to be dealt with. The men need to train our young men as to how to deal with these situations. You gotta be conscious of it too, you see, because the social media where is so much being advertised to you. You get things getting advertised here, right to yeah. your face. Yeah. 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 You see what I'm saying? So it's a constant, it's a constant false advertisement of the simp lifestyle. And plenty fellas them where they so deep in it. And then see, it's who you surround yourself with too. Because if you're around a bunch of simps, then all y'all is just simp buddies. Right. You're all so in the same echo chamber. You're yeah. saying the same and some thing. don't understand that they are simps. Yeah. Right. And they don't understand. Because that's their lifestyle. So the more they be around Iron sharp and iron both ways, wrong and right. Yes, yeah. Yeah. you see what I'm saying. So the more they be around the same mindset of fellas, the more they can continue to the same set of thing. They be, oh yeah, but you don't even spend on a you tight. You don't get no money. You need to try and do something else. Get you your someone, money up. Get your money up so you can take girl. care of her. You want <laughs> someone take your girl? Eh? Listen, so see, like he say, mm. like he said, like you know, the influence is coming in through your eyes and stuff mm-hmm. and into your ears yes. and stuff like that. So it's, it's the people who you listen to. Like, we've been trying to not be indoctrinated by these people, but you had, like, people like Trick Daddy, right? Trick Daddy was a nigga who, his name said it all. Trick. Trick. So he used to pay for these guys to do certain things and pay for everything. Mm-hmm. Like how he had Trina all these times and how Trina used to come to, to Nassau and show all these girls how to carry on. Yeah. Because he used to pay for everything for after she f- was finished with him, she left him. She for sure. And she going somewhere else. Now he went and he started tricking other girls, you know, giving them money and stuff like that, and giving them a better lifestyle. So now any boy or man or whoever tried to date them afterwards, they have to do the same thing Trick did. If you ain't doing the same thing that Trick did, you ain't on that standard. Yeah. You ain't on that standard. 
But then Seriously. guess what? Us telling men, hey, don't go buying no random girl drinks at the bar. Don't go doing no paying no bills to no girl and you ain't know what. They see that as toxic masculinity. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So Spoke that's that's about. their that's their new their new they, catchphrase. What, what, what are, are, and this right here is the sign language because one if they feel like they can't beat you with logic, mm-hmm. they will shame you or insult you, guilt you to get you to do what they yeah, want you yeah, to do. Right. So toxic masculinity, these terminologies came up when mm-hmm. um, they realized that there are certain men who wasn't on their run. So those men now became toxic. Mm-hmm. Right. You understand? See, okay, I look at no, it really. So yet, yet they masculine. Yes. So, <laughs> so, so I get, I, I, I see the relationship uh, uh, um, similar to, to, to your relationship with a child. Mm-hmm. When I was in school, if you wanted a treat, you had to earn that. Um, so that means get good grades. Yeah. Work hard in school. Now you got children who getting one point something, walking around with iPhone. Right. Walking around with Kipling bike. And Clocks. PS5. Clocks and Jordans and PS5 and whatever. Yeah. Right? So the parents are stupid and they're raising entitled children. So by them being entitled, that's why they're mediocre. Because if I don't have to do anything to get all this stuff, why would I? But if I have to work hard, to get something, then it will do what it takes to get that. The females don't have to work hard for this. Not at they all. just got to look good to you. Or when they look good to you, you're giving them your all. Mm-hmm. Not understanding that there was a reason why traditional women were treated a certain way. Mm-hmm. She was saving herself. Yeah. Her chastity was her most important value. What these women bring into you now? Wow. What they bring into you? Nothing. They, what they got. They don't even want to do nothing for you. You then open your legs to probably 30, 40 doors before you catch a little bit of sense. Now you're saying you stand this high, especially if you got children. You have to this and you have to that and blah, blah, blah to get me. But you didn't demand it from the other men before me, so I don't understand why I need to be doing And I got to pay for your mistakes. Your choices, i responsible for that. Seriously. Wow. Right? Um, so you ain't got no chastity. You can't cook clean, wash, and iron. Most of y'all can't even dress. Because when you see girls out now, they look like they're in the yard. Uh, they're getting a little general. <laughs> you understand me? But they cut a helmet on. Some, so, some of them in the club, bro. And the only thing they're concerned about is their hair. Helmet, the bonnet. Yeah. Oh. Okay. <laughs> right? Right? So now, many yeah, you, you understand? Uh, now, I mean, because I have to rate, I have to rate Monique for getting on these females about, about the bonnet situation, yeah, man, man, because that's a, you don't understand that that's a, a, a degrade or a downgrade. There's a yeah. difference between a hairdress and a bonnet. And a bonnet. You understand? You sleep in them things. So There's a purpose for that. that? Yeah. walking around with a bonnet on there. We just go uh, to the we, are, we, are, uh, uh, we got, we got, we have, we have men walking around with dress. I'm True. proud of it. So, uh, a bonnet ain't nothing, right? <laughs> but, <Voice. laughs> right? Um, but, you're not bringing uh, anything to the table that is worth it because I can't even, I, I shouldn't feel respected to be with you because all these other guys already been with you. And the average woman will not do with a man what she'll do with a one night stand. But that's the thing. She would break rules for certain <laughs> guys and then, you know, she would keep rules for the guys yeah. who she don't really okay. respect. And, and so you are, so, so you're also, she can't control it. So yeah. you, so you also fall in, into the same category yeah. when you're doing that. You fall into the same category when you liking these daughters, them picture who, you know, you can't get, right. or if you do get them, you have to spend some big money to get them. You making them feel good. Delete every <laughs> freaking sexy gal on IG and all those places. Delete them. Because you ain't gonna never meet them and you ain't gonna never be able to talk to them. So stop sending messages in the because inbox. The minute please. you meet them, you can spend. And the, thing, and, the, and the thing about it is, you're building up their mindset and their hype. Their delusion. That all they have to do is, 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 look, is look nice mm-hmm. and they can get all kind of money because there are girls who will send sexy photos, whether they half clothed, some naked, um, sexy videos, whatever, and they looking for people to send them money. Yeah. This, this is. This, this is the job Just of off of looks. Yeah, th- this yeah. is the job. This is the job of many women in many countries. And of course, you a joke if you're not on that run. Mm-hmm. You need to respect yourself first. The reason he's speaking about with a low self esteem, yeah. you have to respect. And that's why it's worth doing it because we yeah. got plenty women low self esteem. That's why bleaching cream mm-hmm. making billions of dollars a year. 
That's why we've made Shout out to Vibes Cartel. He probably still bleach it. So, we get the... Niggas, them, niggas them getting paid to convince you all to poison your life. Yeah, I tell you, I know, right? so at the end of the day, we have women who believe that looks is the pinnacle. On social media, it shows that every Yes, day. yes. Mm-hmm. Looks is the pinnacle. You have That's feet. why they got to be doll up. Makeup all the time. All the time online. I guess Every it, outfit mo- they wear, they got to show a picture of that. But, that means you can't even wear the outfit twice. Oh, but the thing about it is most of the time, though, they only giving you headshots, though, bro. Yeah, well, you Because yeah. they know the body is yeah, trash. No point, right? They know the body is trash. <laughs> so they only giving you, uh, uh, you know, those things. Most definitely. But some of them, they don't even go to bed without makeup. No. You no. go to bed with them, they have the makeup on. They when you wake makeup, up, they, they have, have the makeup, makeup on. on. So Lashes don't come off. I don't. <laughs> what, 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 what were dumb is that? Oh, like he was talking about bleaching, right? Uh, but they in the gym every day waking old. <laughs> <laughs> listen, I, I don't get the logic. They don't be in the sun. They, no. Listen, them but, gym rats. They ain't, they ain't real gym rats, you know. No, no. they, they just taking they a picture in the gym. Exactly, some of them. No, but think about it. You say you living healthy, right? <laughs> you waking old every day, but you bleaching. Uh, and, and, uh, the thing, uh, and the thing about it is your skin. No, no, <laughs> no, no. No, no the, the point he's making is that your skin is your biggest organ. I know. Yeah, That's the largest organ. Right. So, so how you living healthy if you destroying your largest <laughs> yeah, organ? Right. You will go on social media and you will see females. Oh, that's another reason why I said social media tells you a solid story. Because a lot of these females don't delete. So go and do your proper investigations. Uh, you go and you see this girl. Call, call me, 454-9563. <laughs> yes, we have an investigation specialist investigation. right here. Right? Um, but here it is now. We would have a female. And she is brighter than vampire hair. Yeah. Right? Brighter than. Right? Yeah. She 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 damn near mangra. I's a bohemian. It ain't mango with mangra. Mangra. Right? Okay, that, that's Over get right. Get, that's get real. She uh, mangra, right? But if you go and you check out her photos three, four, five years earlier, she dark like me. I check uh, on, I checked someone's profile at, like that the other day. I know I see this girl Friday. Boy. So I go on deep, deep, deep. I go on way back. I say, oh shoots, this one is purple. Yeah. <laughs> and guess what? They ain't showing them say pictures enough. The ah. <laughs> Listen. They ain't showing them. The they girls? showing what current. Yes. The girls who's bleach, you could always tell who's bleach. Because the bread block. Everything else, white. <laughs> bread but, block. Yeah, but that's the thing. You might never get to the bread. So see, that's what? another thing. You then spend all your money and uh, never get to see the block. Ah, so this is what I'm saying at the, at the end of the day. So you need to stop the simping, gentlemen, because all the simping that you're doing is causing the women to be terrible. Because if you say be to worse. a woman, you can get whatever you want, but you don't deserve it. Why should she do anything to deserve it? And then, what you know what you do? You turn good women into whores. Wanna know why they whores? Yeah. They whores because if the whores getting straight, you made the statement about even older women trying to compete with the young girls. If this is what's getting them the attention, this would work in, but I gotta go try that too. Well, simping is destroying marriages as well because you got some women out here that are in this delusion where they feel like, hey, y'all could take trips. Anytime y'all want to, you could do all types of stuff where you could get um, financial help from this one, financial help from that one. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, your husband at home wondering where you getting all this money from and doing all these things. Time now, you begging all the niggas around to give you this money. Or oh, social media because, boy, you can get it. Yeah. yeah. Check it. Hey, check your cash out. Yeah. <laughs> and you never know. And then now you're all breaking up and you ain't know who. And what happening? Yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying. So marriage is getting destroyed off all this simple foolishness. Yeah, it, it it is because we would sit down and have conversations mm-hmm. prior to getting into a serious relationship or a marriage. True. And when you get in, it's different because even though we're speaking, she have another plan. So our thought process is this happen, that happen, the next thing happen, and then when it doesn't, right. now she's upset. Yeah. Excuse me. Don't let off some girlfriends. Who happened to buck upon some guys who are doing some things? Notice mm-hmm. the Valentine simping. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. If you work in an environment where there are a bunch of women, it's mm-hmm. a competition. Oh yeah, all who day. can get to the see who get the flowers. biggest bike um, basket, or to see if yeah. you can get a basket. Okay, you understand? So now you've taken care of this woman all year. Yeah, you paid all the bills. Now you got to come up with 200 and some more dollars once for a basket. Guess what? Once you start it. Oh, listen, that's a cheap basket these days, bro. You want a you want a big basket full of nothing? Three, $400 easy, bro. Yeah, boy. Uh-huh. They making basket now all the money. 
Okay, all yeah. the money. Yeah, the flowers yeah. make good money. Okay, wow. that's how that's how they can on. So all right, money in the basket. You ain't basically paying for the size of it. You paying for the money, money in, in the basket? Okay, they, they, they turning the money into roses. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's, that's you're so paying for the basket. Yeah, you're paying for what? Uh, you're paying for the fold. Yes, <laughs> you want to know something inside there would make sense. Yeah. Okay, so I, I have somebody on the line saying we bias bad. I, I please let me know how we bias. I want to know because we keep saying woman. Hell, guess what? Okay, for, okay, oh, oh, okay. First off, are, this, we, are we talking facts? That's oh, okay, uh, for, for, first off, this is a male show. It's a so this is a male show geared towards males. That's the first thing. Um, secondly, everything that we're saying is true and real. Uh, so feelings should not ever trump or overthrow logic, and that's where the problem comes in. Oh, no. We live in a world. Where people value feelings yeah, over, over knowledge, no, over, over over facts, mm -hmm. knowledge, logic. Or oh, they say they say the woman buying their own basket. Well, I mean, yes, but well, we okay. Have some women who's all right, all right. I, I, I will I will say I will say this. Yes, we do have some females who are purchasing their baskets because of the competition. Ah, right. But this is the reason why I said that the food is they usually simp and they sell. That's why I said ah, but that's why I said the food is some of the biggest budget um for these females simply because of the fact that they um. They they want to compete with yeah. the other women, so that's why they go and purchase these things and they dress so they this way over there because they. This is the sad thing, and a lot of women will say, "Oh no, we don't live for women," but that's the problem. The majority of y'all living solely for women. You're only living for the man. Yeah. Why? Because if you was living for the man, you would have asked him, and he would have told you, "No, okay. I don't want that. I don't need that. Yeah. I don't need to see you in this." How many men, women, ask yourself when you have a boyfriend now, if you ever had one in your life? When did your boyfriend say, man, you see that weave what you had on? Um, the other day, man, you need to get that again. Huh? You see them cow eyelashes what you have on you? Man, cow. listen, man. Cow we need to go. Man, they looking like they looking like freaking they 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 they, they, they looking at one of them cows from off of Sesame Street day. Right? All right. Model, model, me have a model. <laughs> yeah, you understand that this is this is this is what it is. Right? Ask ask your man. I mean, sit back and think. I'm not saying if you went and said, baby, you like this or you like that, because of course he could tell you yes, because he need to get some tonight, right? Yeah. I'm saying how many times has your man jumped up and said to you, this is what he needs for, yeah. you, uh, uh, um, for you to do, and it had to do with these fake stuff. How many men told you you need to go and get a BBW? How many men told you that you need, really need to go and get fake breasts? And I ain't talking with the doctor getting paid to put it in. Come on, now. Let, yeah. let's, let's get a little bit of sense. Mm -hmm. Let's try to have an intelligent conversation here. So at the end of the day, right, Mm -hmm. You doing this for women, okay? Who don't love themselves? Because here's the thing: if you love you, mm -hmm. you ain't got to change them things. You don't need sure. it. Okay, and if you really want to lose weight, stop eating. That's all. Diet, exercise. If if you don't like yourself, okay, but you want to go and spend this lavish amount of money or find a fool, yeah, find a simp to go and do all these things for you because you don't feel good. Anybody who is trying to change who they are, that's the problem. The thing is, Trust they, you you only change in the exterior, but in the not the interior. interior, right? And stop, stop on Valentine's Day expecting baskets. You ain't buy a man nothing. So hey, that's the side why thing. Is it, don't, don't, why is it only it. directed that the fella must buy baskets? You are you only giving red, vagina? Red, you only giving vagina? Red, red, yeah. red, red the stop. room to get the same vagina which you get the night before, <laughs> or or maybe two days before if she trying to hold out to make it special, right? Dinner, uh, um, wine, and alcohol, that. whatever, maybe even a trip. For what? Let me look it up. For the same journal? <laughs> for birthday. All right? <laughs> for the Christmas. For the same journal? Wait, listen. Hey. See, okay, I'm just saying. important question. Uh, 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 and, and this is the thing. This is why we're speaking on simping. If, if, if the person is reciprocating, mm -hmm. it's not simping. Because y'all are doing this together. Yeah, right. But if you're the only one who's doing this, my brother, and she wasn't somebody who saved herself for you as it's a traditional woman, yeah. it ain't for then you. it ain't for you. Yeah. It's not for you. They say Valentine's. Look at this idea said. They say love sick shoppers. These the simps. They gonna say that, but they fix it up. Love sick shoppers shallowed more than twenty five point nine billion dollars. Not million. Not million. Billion. B. B. Capital B. Billion. Billion. Billion with a B. Look how they say it. They say in Cupid's name each year. Each year. That's one day in old. Nah, 
Just one. This ain't couple days. Yeah. And 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 the hair industry is in the billions or the trillions. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You know. So, gentlemen, mm. as we come to a close, mm. what would you want to say to the simps out there? Change your mindset. If you're looking at dating an individual, the date means to investigate. You have to investigate who you're with. If you buck a young lady or a grown woman who have this thing in her head that you got to compete with the next man or you got to spend first, run for us, run. Yeah. You <laughs> might as well get on it. Gotcha. Yeah. I'd say um, just keep in the head space that if you're not taking care of yourself, you shouldn't be trying to take care of anybody else. Yes. And the thing is, is, you know, if a woman is single, usually she has to boost her masculinity to take care of her household. Right? And if you're a single man, all you have to do is boost your masculinity to make sure that you are fit, healthy, and in shape. So wouldn't that mean that masculinity is needed for survival? So you need to be a man. Make sure that if you go ahead and you find a woman, she is not masculine. She's fit, feminine, and friendly. I agree. I, I, de I definitely agree with the sentiments. And um, the foundation of those sentiments is you have to love yourself first. If you don't love you, you can't expect for no one to truly love you. You have to love you first. Yeah. As long as you love yourself, you look into yourself, you start being readily available, especially at a moment's notice. You are um, laid back. You're not looking for um, any um, validation and reassurance from anyone, yep. especially and in, uh, in including um, the women. All right, You're going to find yourself in a position where you're going to stop simping because you love you. Yeah. Is, is this beneficial to me? Start to learn to understand the word no. Simps are notorious yes. for not taking no for an answer yes, and to giving the word yes every time it's asked. Understand the need for the word no. You have to learn how to tell people no, and you have to learn how to accept the word no. Can so if, that no too. If, yeah. if, if, if the female is not interested in you, mm -hmm. my brother, move on. Yeah. Don't try to make more money so you can go and try and get this girl because at the end of the day, she only wants you for the money. So and when you lose the money, then what? Thousands of fish in the sea. Okay, <laughs> move on, all right? And let them know that you're not interested in doing certain things. You have to set boundaries. You have to have standards. Yeah. If you're not going to do that, you're going to remain a simp for the rest of your oh, life. Yeah. Oh. This has been exactly. another great session. I thank, want to thank my guests. Uh, solo. Lessons. Solo. To the Google. Google. <laughs> to the Google. <laughs> right? <laughs> and bump in the house uh, uh, um, tonight. Please like, share, subscribe these videos. Let's get this information out because the young men need to hear what the real men have, have to, to say. say. Yes, sir. So let's talk. let's talk In this society where we're stereotyped Men are always hated, always wrong, and can never do right That's what the world told us And everybody agrees while we carry the weight of the world on our shoulders Now brother, let me ask you this, who's there for you? When it's time to air it out and talk, brother, who's hearing you? They already paint a picture that is us against everyone else But I'm telling you, don't be against yourself So let's talk, let's talk. If I'm here for you, and you're here for me Strength and unity So let's talk, let's talk. If I am I'm gon' build you up, never break you down so let's talk, let's talk. When they ask you, what can a brother do for me? So let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. You can have